Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to episode one of Working with PHP. In this uh, series, we're going to learn how to use PHP to make a dynamic website. We'll take a look at a lot of different uh, parts and a lot of different uses of PHP, <clears throat> and basically we'll end up making a simple website with some dynamic content using PHP. Now, PHP is a programming language, but it runs on the web. The way that PHP works is you embed your PHP code in an HTML file. When you go to load the file from your client, if you go to you know the website example.com, the server that's hosting the website will uh, open up your the file you're trying to get your index.php or whatever. It will run all the PHP, the PHP will then emit HTML, and the return page that the user sees is completely in HTML. And I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like uh, now. So first, I'm using PHP Storm because uh, it, you know it's obviously optimized for PHP and web development. Um, if you have IntelliJ, it, you can, I think, if it doesn't have PHP built in, there's a nice plugin you can grab. Uh, to use it in IntelliJ, or otherwise you really could just use a text editor, but I like having the autocomplete and, you know, tabbing and all that nice stuff. Now once you're in PHP Storm, you're going to need to set up PHP. If you are going to be doing all of your work on a web server, then it either has PHP installed or you can just use apt-get to grab PHP. If you're doing it on a computer, your Mac computer or your Windows computer, you'll want to find a binary that works. So if you go on Google and type in um, PHP binary Mac or Windows, you should be able to find it. If you can't, I'd be happy to make a video showing exactly how to do it on Mac, uh, Windows or both. One really quick thing to note is that once you have PHP installed, you can open up the settings in either PHP Storm or IntelliJ. Uh, if you head over to uh, PHP right here, you can then uh, set up your language level and your interpreter. Now, I have two PHPs installed. One of them is in USR bin, but it doesn't actually work. I have one in USR local PHP 5 bin. It says it's not installed, but this is the one that works for me. So however you get yours to set up uh, is what you're going to want to do. But I have configured to use that PHP interpreter so that I can test all of my PHP code. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to create a new PHP file. You'll notice that the file extension is PHP, not HTML. A PHP file is the exact same as an HTML file, but it can it contains possibly PHP. If you embed PHP in an HTML file, it will, I believe, be ignored, but in a PHP file, it will know to look for it. Now we're going to call this index, because if you remember, index.html is um, what is automatically uh, going, like, so if I go to example.com, it will automatically load index.html. Uh, that's the index page. If you use index.php, it works the exact same way. So we're going to go ahead and delete uh, the stuff that it gives us, because remember, this is uh, an HTML document. So let's do our doc type. Hope I did that right. Uh, and then we're going to have HTML. Inside of that, we're going to have our head. And we're also going to have our body. All right. So uh, in the head, we don't really need to do anything. I'll just go ahead and give it a title. And we're going to call it My PHP Website. Eventually, we'll come up with like a little project to do. But for the beginning, when we're just learning the language itself, um, we'll just use this example page. Now, inside of the body, this is where I want to uh, do everything. So what I can do, I can put regular HTML in here if I want. Like I could write P paragraph, uh, this is some text. 
and I'll go ahead and put in a line break and that's all well and good that works just fine but now let's say that I want to put some PHP in PHP is great for dynamic content especially with databases and I can show that to you you can link a MySQL database and pull information from it um, but let's say that we want to do something dynamically with PHP the way you do this is you start off with your regular old opening tag but what you put inside of here is question mark PHP then you're going to end it with question mark closing tag. So it looks a bit weird, but that is PHP, and everything inside of here will evaluate to be PHP code. Now the first thing that we're going to use is the echo function or command. It's basically a function, but it behaves a little, a little bit differently. Uh, if you type in the word echo, you can then follow it by uh, a string, and it will basically echo out that string. Uh, in PHP, if you want to denote a string, you can either use single quotes or double quotes. They both work the same except for one minor difference that we'll get to probably in the next video. But if I can go ahead and I can echo out the word hello. Now you'll notice this doesn't look anything like HTML. There's no opening and closing tags or anything. It looks more like a language and if I were to put hello in parentheses, which I most certainly can do, then it looks a lot like, I don't know, Java or, or a C-like language. It's, um, you know, it's, it's a programming language. It's not a markup language like HTML is. But let's see what happens here. Let's see what exactly this will do. So we'll go ahead and view this in Safari and it should work PHP should be set up correctly and we'll see if this loads all right okay so uh, Safari is not responding but you can see that it says this is some text, there's a line break, and then it says hello. So obviously that kind of strange looking PHP code evaluated, there we go, evaluated to be the word hello. So now let's take a look at the source code here. Let's see what Safari got for its source. And if we go ahead and take a look, we can see, I'll make this a little bit bigger, right there. Um, in our body we had, this is some text, uh, line break, and then we have the word hello. Now how did this happen? If we look at our code, we have these like PHP um, bracket things, opening and closing tags, we have this echo command, but none of that's there, it's just the word hello. Remember, PHP is evaluated by the server. So PHP Storm is a built-in web server. So when I requested, when I said I want to see index.php, it first evaluated all of this PHP code, which echoed out the word hello, it, it printed out the word hello, and then uh, it displayed it with the PHP evaluated. Now this is really valuable because let's say I put in some sort of secret information like a database connection. I don't want people knowing the username and password to get into a database, but they're not going to see it because only the stuff that gets uh, echoed out is displayed. So I could put uh, government secrets in here and then people couldn't see it by looking at the source because it would not show up. One last thing, you'll see that hello looks a little bit strange because it's kind of by itself without you know paragraphs or whatever. Remember that PHP evaluates to become HTML so we can just put hello inside of P brackets. We can put it inside of paragraph brackets and if I reload this then show page source, you'll see hello is now in uh, paragraph brackets. Likewise, if I wanted to make this a title, you don't need any sort of fancy PHP, I just surround it in h1 brackets, and you'll see that it's now a title because it echoes it out in h1. So anything that comes out of PHP is HTML, but you can have you know, uh, dynamic stuff, parsing variables, all of that great stuff. But in the end, PHP becomes HTML and it's displayed just like regular old HTML. 
So that's all for this video, just an introduction to the PHP language. We're going to spend a little while looking at um, all the different features of the PHP language, how it works, and then we will actually apply our knowledge and make some sort of a website, maybe like a blog or a, a you know company website, or we'll see. We'll see what we're going to do, but we'll make some sort of interesting project. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn, if you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon with some more PHP and coding videos. Bye for now.